it's going to be a nasty problem. <laughs> All right, so we have z equals the cube root of e to the power of 3v times tangent of 4v. So first thing that you can do with this, this problem here is just do a quick rewrite. You can rewrite it as uh, using um, fractional or rational exponents. So we should have e to the 3v tan of 4v inside the parentheses or inside the bigger parentheses. And the cube root, you could write it as a fractional exponent. What would be the exponent here for cube root? One third. One third. Good. Now what you can do is label your, uh, your u. What is my u in this problem? u is going to be the inside. So u is going to be precisely e to the power of 3v uh, tan of 4v. This means that f of u, f u, <laughs> is going to be u to the one-third power. So if you look at your formula, what you're essentially doing is you're labeling out your u, you label out what's your f of u, and you find your derivatives, okay? You find the derivative of u, and you're going to find the derivative of f of u. So f prime of u, I think, will be the easier one to find. You're just finding the derivative of u to the one-third. Well, you bring down the one-third, and you subtract one from the exponent. So think about in terms of pizza. pizza. If you have an entire pizza pie and you eat one third of it, then how much of the pizza pie is remaining? Two thirds. But if you do one third minus one, it's gonna be a negative two thirds. Okay, so you got negative two thirds. One thing that you can do with this solution here uh, is you can clean it up a little bit. You can clean it up in the sense where you use positive exponents. So you could bring the u to the power of negative two thirds into the denominator. So this will just give you one third of u to the power of two thirds. Now we gotta find u prime. But to find u prime, what rule do you think I'm gonna use here? We're going to have chain rules. Yeah. What else? Quotient. Not quotient. A product. We're going to do a product. So I'm going to do it informally without the scrap work. So what the first thing you want to do is keep your e to the power of 3v. We keep the first term. And we take the derivative of tan 4v. In general, what is the derivative of tangent? No. Secant squared of whatever. So you're going to have secant squared of 4v. But then remember, you would have to find the derivative of 4v. Because now 4v is like your inner function. It's the inner of the inner. So what is the derivative of 4v? 4. So what we're going to have is tangent of 4v. And all of this is going to get multiplied by 4. So I will clean this up. I'm just doing it informally right now. All right. Now we keep tan of 4v. And we take the derivative of e to the 3v. What is the derivative of e to the 3v? What do you think it will be? That's right. So you keep the e to the 3v, and then you take the derivative of 3v. Derivative of 3v is going to be 3. So you can put that together. It's going to be 3e to the power of 3v. All right. Now we've got to clean up our answer some more. So I have to zoom back out. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of rewrite with this. So what we're going to see is that essentially z prime, right? In this case, z prime should be written as dz over dv. Uh, but in terms of u, you're going to get uh, 1 over 3 u to the 2 thirds uh, times, 
I'll put a parentheses here. The parentheses is going to represent our u prime. So first of all, the first piece says you have e to the 3v times tangent of 4v times 4. So what I can do is, well, here's what, here's what, I, here's what I could do to clean this up. Notice that this is all going to be one term because of multiplication. This is all going to be one term because of multiplication. So what I can do here is I can do a little bit of factoring. What each of these two pieces have in common is e to the 3v and the tangent part. So if I factor all of that out together, e to the 3v tangent of 4v, then what would be remaining? Look at the first piece. If I pull out e to the 3v tangent of 4v, what is remaining? A 4. If I pull out tan of 4v e to the 3v, what will be remaining? From the second piece, a 3. So we have 4 plus 3. What's 4 plus 3? 7. So this is going to become a 7. So you do 1 times e to the 3v tan of 4v times 7. So that's just 7 times all that good stuff on the numerator. So it's 7 over, or sorry, 7e to the 3v times tangent of 4v. And in your denominator, which is 3u to the 2 thirds, because the derivative has to be in terms of v, I am going to, and I said u was equal to e to the 3v over tan of 4v. I'm just going to rewrite that part. We're going to have 3 times e to the power of 3v uh, times tangent of 4v. Oops, sorry. All raised to the power of 2 thirds. And that would be our answer. So I would, what I would recommend is like, you know, in the future, you pause this video and definitely dissect this piece by piece.